two and one. Welcome to the Game Case, a show for, well, anyone that plays World of Warcraft. The show rife with ramblings, tips, tricks, and goings on in WoW. Here's your host, Chris Case. Hello, hi, howdy, and welcome to this episode 12 of The Game Case. I am Chris, also known as Cuddles, a brewmaster monk on Airy Peak in the Convert to Raid Guild. This week, I'm going to run down my week in WoW, talk about some of the excitement in 6.2, and tell you about the good deed in Draenor contest that we're running. So let's dive right into it. This week in WoW has been a fun one for me, both before the patch, building up, getting all my all my stuff and my Apexis crystals, finishing out some old, finishing out some old uh, quests, stuff like that. Just generally having a really good time. And then, of course, on Tuesday, what happened, everybody? Patch 6.2, the Fury of Hellfire is here. Woo! Can we get a little? show hype for patch 6.2 this is our first major big content patch in 6.2 it's actually my first like major content patch since i've started playing world of warcraft i'm going to talk about that a little bit more later but i can tell you i was really really excited by this and so far it has not disappointed me there's been a lot of cool stuff out there so I didn't quite get all my all my pet tokens. I know I've talked about that in the past. I was really excited about getting all 400 of my pet tokens, getting the new pets, and that didn't actually happen. So I've been working on some pet battles. I've been going out in the world, collecting some of those new pets that, that I don't have yet. I found a few of the legendary pet battles out there, and wow, did those guys hit hard um i think i've been beaten up by a a little fell ghosty thing um up in like the northwest of tanan i'm pretty sure a frog kicked my butt it's uh all in all that has been a whole lot of fun um also exploring the jungle i mean wow the the part of tanan where where our little base is and in that like kind of that neat little forest and then you you roll over into the marshes and everything's destroyed and fell and blighted and and of course hellfire citadel wow that place looks absolutely amazing um i did get to dive into hellfire citadel with my tuesday normal rating team the rubber chicken coalition we went two of 13 so we didn't quite clear it yet but we went in there and we had a whole lot of fun and that's that's really what's important the uh the first two bosses we got down which is the assault on hellfire which is kind of a really unique boss we'll talk about that in just a second the iron reaver we got down both of those were either one or two shots for us and those those wipes were really just like Oh no, we were supposed to be doing that thing over there and we were doing this thing over here when we should have been there and here and over there and oh oh blah. Just you know, kind of kind of first pull jitters. Once we figured out the mechanics and once we actually saw what was going on, those two were very easy. We then advanced on to Cormok, who I've heard being called Cromog V2. Uh, he definitely kind of looks the same. Has a couple like similar ground poundy sort of mechanics, but we wiped several times on him. We it was it wasn't a case of him actually being a horribly hard boss. It was more so a case of us having absolutely no idea what order to do things in. There's three different colored pools. You have to drag him around to those three different pools. And, and then you pull him out, and he does these different abilities, and it, it's a really interesting, and, and in my opinion, a really fun fight, especially as a tank. So, we're starting to get that figured out. I'm confident we will, we will at least have him down next week, especially with the release of a few, a few videos that I'm sure to, that I am sure will pop up on YouTube. We did see Tova 
in in raid one in the ctr mumble along with a bunch of the mythic ctr community tova and his partner went through they're doing their two minute boss videos for los gaming so they were collecting footage for all that those videos are going to be going together those should be up very soon and that'll give you a little bit better idea what you're doing when you dive into hellfire citadel now that first boss I, I wanted to go back and touch on that because it was definitely it was it was a very unique fight. It was really cool. So you walk into Hellfire Citadel, you're kinda of standing outside, the doors are locked, we're like, well how do we get in the doors? Oh, we have to clear all of this trash. After you clear all the trash, there's these really cool mechanics where you have to kill these siege engines that drop some ammo that you take up to these cannons, then the cannons, boom, shoot down the door. It's it's definitely a really fun fight. I had an absolute blast with it. Um, I actually have a picture here. I'm going to link it in the show notes of my guild, the Rubber Chicken Coalition, in there about to face Cormac. My panda, Mr. Cuddles, is doing something. I, I, I don't know. I think he's trying to dance. Everybody else looks really cool. Big shout to our raid leader, Swayze, for doing an amazing job raid leading the first night that we were in Hellfire. There was absolutely fun so outside of the raid one other thing that of course caught my attention this week and that was the new shipyard our garrison ship missions guys how excited are y'all for this how much fun like we get to build ships we get to send them on naval missions we have this whole new area outside of our garrison for the alliance it's right around the backside. i'll be honest i don't play horde but i'm sure you guys have it like right there somewhere um whole lot of fun got to got to build several ships my shipyard is now or my port i guess it is is now full so i have i have my ships out there on missions after the show i'll go collect some of my rewards it, it really it just seems like a really good fun time and then there's there's like little seagulls on your ship and they like your crew's doing stuff it's bliss you could definitely tell that bliss had fun with this and they did a very good job so so kudos blizz for the uh for the garrison shipyard i thought it was absolutely incredible and what i'd really like to hear though is what did you guys think what what are your thoughts so far on hellfire citadel on patch 6.2 on the shipyard frosty fox in the chat is loving the ship missions so glad to hear that i'm right there with you i'm i'm whistling sea shanties and enjoying renaming my all of my garrison ship i have one is the hms bananarama my raid team and some of my frequent uh frequent listeners to the show or frequent visitors to my twitch stream will know exactly what i'm referencing Hate to make a uh, private joke, but that one's going to stay private for now. So definitely enjoying the HMS Bananarama along with all of my other ships. But please tweet us at the Game Case Show on Twitter. Let us know what you think. How are you enjoying it? What's your what's your funniest ship name so far? What are you doing out in patch 6.2? So as for news, there wasn't a whole lot in the way of news this week. Of course, a brand new patch just dropped. They, they've been super busy working out bugs and doing all sorts of fixes. I, for one, was unable to loot the first two bosses. Not that I didn't get anything. I was simply unable to loot them at all. Two quick tickets into the GMs, a couple little back and forth. They were able to go back and look at the logs, see that it actually glitched out. And they know that it's an issue. They know it's there. They're working on it. And the list of those things that they know about and are working on is extremely extensive. You see a lot of stuff over in the forums. People, hey, this is happening. Hey, this is happening. And it, it's been great to see the devs getting in there and kind of the community managers hopping in and going, yup, okay, we know about this. We're working on it. We did see a mini patch go in today. I saw, I think it was roughly 100 megs on my system, maybe 90. So little small patch, but definitely they got some bug fixes out there. That is great to see. There's also Lore, our community manager, posted about a few hot fixes for PvP. 
I will post this link in the show notes. I will be honest, I am not a big PvP guy, so I don't want to I, I don't want to uh, dive too deep into this. There will be a link in the bottom. They're gonna exchange how many players are gonna be in there. They're doing some some rebalancing. All in all, the the reason I brought this up is because I, I think it's just great that they're that they're still focusing on worrying about and tweaking the Ashran experience for those that do enjoy PvP. For something that if that's something that you enjoy doing in Warcraft, then it's great to see them actually working on it. So I, another big kudos to Blizz for working hard for your community. You guys are on absolute hellfire right now. <laughs> hellfire. See what I see what I did there? Fury of and Hellfire. Okay, this would be this, <laughs> this interaction would be a lot better with the co-host. But hey, I crack myself up. Hopefully, hopefully I put a smile on your face as well. Now, don't forget, there was a blue post out that the eye level changes for the Midsummer Sire Fire Festival um, have been put in. Those came out with patch six point two. So, loot for the Midsummer Fire Festival is now up to 670 so go out there hit up the fire festival grab some loot grab some fun stuff this is yet another one of the amazing events that blizz puts in game they don't have to do these cute little holiday events i know that y'all have been around for years are very used to them i'm i'm not having a game that has this level and extent of kind of themed holiday stuff has absolutely blown me away at the entire time I have been a Warcraft player. I came in right around Christmas and seeing all the Christmas stuff up and seeing all the all the cool changes that they make in game for the for the winter festival is absolutely incredible. It's one of the things that I absolutely love about World of Warcraft. So make sure you head out, check out that Midsummer Fire Festival. That's going to run through next Sunday, which is July the 5th. So you have plenty of time. You can still sneak out there in between your Tanan Jungle missions. Maybe go out there while you're waiting on your shipyard. Definitely be worth it. You get some decent loot. So the news was definitely a little bit slow. Which is to be expected. They just dropped a brand new patch on us. What else are they really going to talk about? Well, while Blizzard was silent, the community was not. There's some incredible and amazing things coming out of the community. And something that I really wanted to highlight is the well-played party. This is the reincarnation or reiteration of the CTR Smash Bash which is a yearly party held by the Convert to Raid Guild. Now this year, the party is open to absolutely everyone, as it has been in the past. You do not have to be a member of the Convert to Raid Guild to take part in this party or to contribute to the Kickstarter that they have got going, which will help fund the party. Now this is going to be held Friday night at the Hilton, Friday night of BlizzCon, there's, there's going to be all sorts of fun stuff. There may or may not be some special guests that you might want to meet, including um, past past featured appearances have included Celeste a So as well as being as we are Convert to Raid, there is a lot of podcasters in there. I'm sure without speaking for him, you may or may not see Ro Wow there. You will definitely see Cuddles, host of the Game Case Show. In case you haven't met him, I've heard he is a really nice guy. He also likes giving hugs in person. The host of Torn Think Tank, Jules Scott, will be there. Uh, Mick Montgomery should be around. There's, there's going to be a whole lot of personalities from the podcast world, as well as a whole bunch of guildies. If you're not into all that, just come, hang out, have a drink, enjoy meeting some Warcraft friends. What else are you going to do Friday night at BlizzCon? Come enjoy the well-played party with Convert to Raid. There will be a link in the show notes. 
of the Kickstarter as well as check them out on Twitter at Well Played Party. They are going to be putting on an incredible, incredible show. Also, there's a great interview that just dropped from Scott Johnson of The Instance with Mumper, a.k.a. Corey Stockton, the lead content designer of what, what game might it be? World of Warcraft. Imagine that. So Scott actually sat down for, I think it's right around an hour, talked to Corey about all sorts of things, what some of their thoughts were about some of the missions, some of the design philosophy behind it. Basically just had a really good time getting some insight out of the devs, as, as Scott Johnson is so great at doing. If you, if you have not heard him doing interviews before, he's a wonderful interviewer, and Corey is a wonderful presence to listen to. So that was The Instance 415. Check that out on YouTube. Um, again, link in the show notes. And, of course, big announcement for us here on the Game Case Show would be it's time for hashtag Good Deeds and Draenor. So have you gone out yet? If you listened to the last podcast, I challenge you to go out into the community and perform a good deed. Now, be that helping someone level, which actually I did last night. I have a friend that recently dinged 100, and myself and a good friend, Sly, from Ascendance, and also in Airy Peak, Convert to Raid. We went out, and we ran a couple dungeons with him. We helped him get some gear. We did a little bit of leveling. Basically, we went out and just really had a good time. So... That's what I'm asking you to do. Now, here's the rules. All you have to do is go out into Draenor, go out and do a good deed for someone, give them some gold, help them help them out on a quest, uh, craft, the, craft a new or returning player a piece of equipment. Do something to help someone out in the game. And then here's what you're going to do. You're going to head over to Twitter, write... Use the hashtag good deed in Draenor and then include at the game case show. That's all you have to do. You can enter it as many times as you would like. You can do as many good deeds as you want. I will pick one random winner, maybe even more depending on the amount of entries, but at least one random winner will win their choice of either a mount or a pet from the Battle.net store. So, go out there. You want the, you've been looking at that new Rune Saber? Maybe you like the Celestial... Celestial... <laughs> maybe you like the Sparkle Pony? Or maybe maybe uh, the Alterac Brew Pup is calling your name. Head out into Draenor. Do something good for the community. Make a positive impact. I guarantee... You'll, not only will you make their day better, but you'll make your day better. I can promise you that. Giving, giving back to others only enriches your own life. And that's really the reason and the purpose behind this contest. So let's get those hashtags going. I'll be tweeting about it from the Game Case Show Twitter. Check it out. Retweet. Share it. Go and do all the things. I cannot wait to see what happens with this contest. I'm super excited and very, very pumped to see what comes out of the community with this contest. So that's about that's about it for news. I would like to talk about, I kind of teased it a little bit earlier in the show, but I'd like to kind of talk about what it's been like for me in 6.2. Now... 6.2, if you if you don't know, if you're a new listener to the show, first of all, welcome. I've been playing since December. So I did see patch 6.1 come out, but as Ian Hazakostas has admitted, that wasn't really a full content patch in the spirit of a full content patch. It was a little bit light on stuff. They gave us a selfie cam. They gave us more raids. So I've, I've been around for the opening of a raid tier, or at least an additional portion of a raid tier. But going from 
it, going from High Mall into Black Rock didn't really feel like you were going into a, a new raid. I know you were, but it was it, it, it felt very samey to me. While the bosses, there was new bosses, there was new challenges. It was definitely a whole lot of fun. I, I didn't get to experience that wow, wow moment where I, I got to feel like I, I saw something new and something cool in the game. Now, with patch 6.2, we've of course, we've added a new area. We've added the shipyard. We've added all sorts of new stuff. And this was my first time as a WoW player that I got to have that amazing kind of exploratory feeling that that feeling that I had when I first stepped into mists as I was leveling or that feeling when I when I ding 90 and stepped through the portal into Draenor and like there's a there's a whole new world uh, uh, a bright exciting place to be and I oh, I am pumped just pumped about everything in 6.2 now maybe maybe i'm not looking at this with a critical enough eye maybe i should be a little bit more well there's you know i went out questing in 6.2 and when i was in the tanan jungle i noticed that there's only four new pets and once in a in a twitter subtweet posted to a subreddit that i stumbled upon on facebook I saw that they had promised that there was going to be five pets. And the four pets that they do have, they're recycling mechanics. Well, guys, I'm not going to do that. No salt from me this week at all. I am loving 6.2. If you have stepped away from the game, if you have not got in and checked out 6.2, get in there. Go give it a try. It, it's new. It's fun. Everything glows green, which if you've seen my show logo or my website or the, our Facebook, you will know I am a big fan of things glowing green. Not particularly the uh, the evil fell energy thing. Not particularly my thing. Obviously, uh, our, our boy Gul'dan seems to like it. But 6.2 is fun. 6.2 adds new content. 6.2 gives you reasons to get out of your garrison. 6.2 is everything that the community has been asking for. And go out there, tackle this content full bore. You have some reps to grind if you want to hit flying. You're looking at at least three weeks of steady rep grinding, um, doing your dailies to be able to max out some of these reps to the point that you can get the achievement for flying. Also, by the way, that achievement for flying, all the stuff that all the stuff that's coming out, and you know all these things that you had to go do i i absolutely was tickled pink because if this wasn't blizzard slightly trolling the community for constantly complaining that well i'm standing around in my garrison and there is nothing to do i don't have anything to do blizzard well then they added this new achievement for flying and it's like oh well, I have to go out and do all these things? Oh, Blizzard, I'll have to leave my garrison. <laughs> In all reality, a lot, of the, a lot of the reactions to the announcement were very, very positive. But it's very funny that there is this long list of things that you had to go out and do. And it's taking everybody some time to go out and do them. And these are the same people that were standing in their garrison going, Hey, Blizz, got nothing to do. What's up? Oh, oh, all that stuff? Oh. Oh, well, I, there's, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go try to fly now. I thought that was amazing, incredible answer to the flying problem. Way to go, Blizz. Again, kudos. I know I'm just patting Blizz on the back this time. I'm waiting for my royalty check from them. You can send that to thegamecaseshow.com. Um, we also have a PayPal. There's a donate button right under there, Blizz. If you guys want to click on that and just go ahead and send me my paycheck, I'd, I'd appreciate that. It'd be awesome. But really and truly, they're giving us what we want. They really are. We are getting everything that we have asked for in the game right now. So get out there. Play 6.2. Have fun with it. 
if you're if you're getting a little bit cynical, if you're getting a little bit burnt out, here's what I would suggest. Log into the game and smile. Just smile. As you're logging in, as you're picking your character, maybe maybe pick one of your alts that you haven't played in a while that's that's at level. Log in and and go, hey, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play my night elf druid tonight, and this is gonna be fun. And I'm I'm gonna have a good time. This is this is something that I learned long ago. If you're not excited about something, try this out. Pretend to be excited. Just pretend. You don't have to you don't have to Twitch stream this. You don't have to put it on YouTube. You don't have to go in guild chat and I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. Don't don't do that. But hop into the game with a little bit of excitement. And then go out to Tanan. Go explore a new area. Go look at some of these. Go to your garrison shipyard. And, and there's seagulls sitting on your ship. And you can capture the seagulls. And then you can use them as battle pets. I probably should have already had a seagull. But I have one now and it was so much fun. It's Go out, explore the world. Try to use some new eyes to look at it. Don't be so cynical. Don't be so grumpy. Don't walk in. I, I hear so many people out there. It, it seems like they they log into the game to get into the salt mines. And that's that's just... If you, if you feel that way about the game, turn around. Walk away. Go play something else. Go, go play something else. Come back to WoW when you want to play. Do not log into a game. Don't subscribe to a game. Don't complain about a game that you don't want to be playing, but you're playing it. There's nothing sillier than than saying, well, I hate, I hate hitting myself in the face. I hate hitting myself in the face. It really hurts when I hit myself in the face. Oh, man, hitting myself. Ow. 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 It, at some point, that just becomes silly. If you don't like WoW, get out. But before you do, before you do, go into the game with a smile on your face. Go in with a little bit... Try not to approach Tanan with a grumpy, critical, well, they haven't given us any content yet mentality. Go in with, with those eyes that you did when you first went into Burning Crusade. When you first went into to ICC, when you were wowed by wow, that's what I'm encouraging you to do. Go out there and enjoy wow again. Because I can tell you as a new player, as somebody that's just getting into this content, guys, it is fun right now. Go check it out. Get in there. 6.2 is awesome. Get get yourself get yourself some new pets. There's this incredible new hunter pet. You have to go through like all these crazy steps to go get. I'll, I'll, I'll put a link for it in the uh, in the show notes. I don't have the time to explain it, but there's so many cool things going on out there in WoW right now. So many cool events, so many cool uh, podcasts, so many really interesting and neat people in the community. I really feel like you're missing out if you're not fully enjoying it right now, and. That's that's all I've got for this week. I want to I want to throw out a few shout outs. And first and foremost, I want to give a big shout out to and in part part of the show is in the chat room right now. Frosty Fox, thank you so much for for what you do for the community. Love your show. Absolutely love your show. Um, they, she does the Worgen's Howl podcast. If you have not checked this out, check out, um, their show on iTunes, Stitcher, and their website, worgenhowl.blogspot.com. Their newest episode, Welcome to the Jungle, is now up and live. It should be in all those places by the time you're hearing this. Go out and check them out. The Worgen's Howl is an incredible incredible show they also may have mentioned the good deed and drain contest so thanks to that i appreciate it in making new friends 
in this game is what it's all about. And I, I, I can tell you, I, I do not know um, Frosty Fox or her co-host all that well just yet, but I'm really looking forward to getting to know them, and I, I, I am loving them being part of my WoW experience. It's it's been an absolute pleasure just just talking with them so far. So go check out the Worgens Howl. They are great. iTunes, Stitcher, WorgensHowl.blogspot.com. Also, shout out to my raid team, Rubber Chicken Coalition. Whoop, whoop. We got two of thirteen normal already, guys. What are we gonna do for this old raid deer? We're we're gonna be done like next week. Okay, well maybe not, but. I had an absolute blast on Tuesday night. I always do. Our group me, um, our, our guild group me, our raid team group me with Rubber Chicken keeps me entertained each and every day. I, I spend as much time talking to these folks as anyone in my life, really. And they are incredible. They are super special. Big shout to them. Also to my friends from Ascendant, my Saturday and Sunday raid team. Cannot wait to get out there and tackle Hellfire Citadel with y'all. Gonna be running heroic, I believe. I don't think we're gonna. I, I think most of us out gear normal right now, so we should be diving straight into heroics on Saturday and Sunday. Also, big shout out to Sly, my Aussie friend. She is an absolutely wonderful young lady. She came out last night. We did a little questing and did a few other things together. We ran my buddy Tim the Trooper, who just hit, just dinged level 100 through a couple dungeons and just generally had a really good time. I, I had a blast talking to Sly. Super fun time. So who, huge shout out to her and congrats to Tim the Trooper. Also, to Rowow, keep doing what you're doing, brother. I'm loving it. Just loving it. That's it. Just wanted, you know, keep on keeping on, man. Loving the show. Draven, Theory, and the crew at Epic Fail Podcast. The, these are, are another group of individuals that have been absolutely wonderful to me. Theory and Draven are on my raid team. We have an absolute blast. Go check out the epic fail podcast they're soon going to be on itunes they're an awesome group of folks and a lot of fun to be around so that's it that will do it for episode 13 if you'd like to join our live audience for a recording of the show like lifelink tim the trooper frosty fox and tub stout did tonight Make sure and join us on Twitch TV slash The Game Case at 10 p.m. Eastern Time each and every Thursday evening. Thank you so much for listening to episode 13 of The Game Case. You can find me on Twitter at Mullet863. You can find the show at The Game Case Show. You can download us on iTunes and Stitcher, catch recordings of the live show, or some of our tips, tricks, and gill videos on youtube.com slash the game case or find all of the things on the official site of the game case show the game that does it for us tonight y'all have a wonderful wonderful week do not forget hashtag good deeds and drain or i cannot wait to give somebody a mount or a pet this is going to be absolutely incredible y'all have a wonderful week thank you so much for listening i definitely appreciate you that is going to do it for me game case out thank you for joining us this week inside the game case please join us next week for more news tips and ramblings about the world of warcraft game case out hold up the warcraft